Hello. <coughs> Hello all. Welcome to the second uh, session on uh, introduction to triangles, uh, connecting you to Iran's formula. Of course, uh, the syllabus is uh, built upon uh, the ninth standard curriculum, uh, both from state and the CBC. This is the second part. In the first part, I connected. Uh, I introduced why this geometry is very important. Why we need to understand this, you know, fundamental shape, right? Next. Uh, get into the next level. Like, let's take one, uh, one of the fundamental, I mean, the fundamental shape, which is a triangle, and then get a little bit deeper into that. Right? <clears throat> what is triangles? We already learned, right? What is triangles? Triangles is a closed shape. Okay, it is a three-sided closed shape. Uh, we can classify triangles into, you know, uh, either based on angles or based on uh, uh, sides also. Let's classify now based on the angles we can classify you know uh, triangles into three types what are these three types acute angle triangle right angle triangle and the obtuse angle triangle some people call it as acute triangles right triangles and obtuse triangles you know both are acceptable you know looks like uh, <clears throat> uh, let's get into the first one now let's see what hap what's happening okay acute angle triangle right acute angle is see what is acute you know that by definition right the angle which is less than 90 degrees angle less than 90 degrees look at one of the angle is less than 90 degrees naturally the remaining two also will be less than 90 degrees because total sum of all three should be 180 degree so acute angle stands for okay angles being less than 90 degree okay what is right angle right angles generally stands for 90 degree right this is a 90 degree right one of the angle is 90 degree naturally remaining angles should be acute it means lesser than 90 degree why should be lesser than 90 naturally you know sum of all angles should be 180 so 90 plus a plus b is should be equal to you know 180 right so a plus b should be 90 it means a and should be should be lesser than 90 that's how we you know uh, understand Okay, obtuse angles. Obtuse angle. Up what is obtuse? Obtuse is an angle that measures more than 90 degree. Look at it. This is a 90 degree. Correct. And it's more than 90 degree. So this whole thing was more than 90 degree. Okay, remember it should be lesser than 180. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense, right? For example, this is more than, you know, this is 180. And assume this is 180. You know, you know this is a whole thing is say more than say 200. Okay. Okay. And this will not close, right? It will, not, it will no more become a closed shape. It, these and these will never meet and it will never become a closed shape and it will never uh, make a triangle. So that's how we say <coughs> obtuse angle, you know, more than 90, but of course it's understood that it should be lesser than 180 to make it a triangle. So here, uh, one is of course obtuse, more than 90, remaining actually has to be acute. Okay. These are the three classifications of triangles based on sides. Right. Let's understand what is this. You know uh, uh, triangles classification based on now sides last time we talked about angles acute right and obtuse that is less than 90 equal to 90 more than 90 now this is the time we understand by sides this length of the sides <coughs> so we can classify them into three types again equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and sculling triangle Important, right? E what is equilateral? Let's understand. Equi means equal, right? Lateral means sides. Okay. So now, if all sides are equal in length, okay, we call them as a equilateral triangles. And of course, since this side is equal to this side is equal to this side, it boils down to this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle. Since what is total angle? Total angle is equal to 80, and uh, we it's equal equal you know angles. It should be 60 degrees. That's how it piles down. But this classification, remember, is based on the length, length of length of the sides. Right? So A, A, A. Say for it may be 2 meter, 2 meter, 2 meter. It could be like that. Okay. Next get into the other kind of a you know, triangle, which is a isosceles triangle. So now what is that difference between that and this? Is that here uh, equilateral triangle has all three sides equal. Here two sides are equal. And the third one remains different. See, for example, this side is equal to this side. And this base can be a different length. Okay. So it bias down again to do angles measure the same. This angle will be equal to this angle. It bias down. But classification is based on the length. Okay. Isosceles triangle. Right. Uh, 
yeah uh, two sides are equal the third angle is definitely different from other this, this angle should be different def different than these two angles of course third side is different than the first and second side yeah then isosceles triangle can further be classified you know subcategory right so based on again on angles right hmm. what are the angles i told you right three types acute right and obtuse right so if angle is lesser than 90 we call it as acute isosceles triangles if one of the angle is 90 degree we call it as right isosceles triangle if one of the angle is more than 90 degree but less than 90 180 remember if one of the angle is more than 90 degree we call it as obtuse isosceles triangles okay so this kind of classification may not be possible here because these angles are fixed 60 60 60 it is by default it is always acute you cannot you cannot find a right angle equilateral triangle. not possible you cannot find a obtuse equilateral triangle not possible angles are always 60 degree it means this equilateral triangle is always you know acute triangle it's only one type of uh, equilateral triangle but here isosceles triangle we can get find three types of you know uh, 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 you know isosceles triangles acute right and obtuse triangles okay this now, now that we understood classification uh, into equilateral and isosceles let's get into third type of it what is isi remember i told you right it has got all three sides equal it has got only two sides equal here none of the sides are equal means all sides are of different lengths this is a different length this is a different length and this is a different length hmm? okay that's a summary okay let's understand the, let's get into the summary summary we classified uh, the trans you know uh, triangles types of triangles into different types based on the sides based on the sides we have equilateral isosceles and scalene in the equilateral all equal all sides equal two sides are equal in the isosceles scalene we got all three sides are different right so but whereas angle if you class we can if you can classify based on the angles right we have acute obtuse and right you know uh, angle triangles right in the acute angle all you know, you know angles are acute in the obtuse one of the angle is obtuse of course remaining has to be acute okay in the right angle triangle one of the one of the angles will be right you know 90 degree or right angle triangle right angle and remaining has to be acute this is the summary okay i uh, just wanted to summarize you know whatever we discussed in the past you know in the previous session right before getting into actual topic now uh, let's get a little bit deeper into equilateral triangle okay uh, let's see what is this okay let's see the first image okay, we already seen it right so this is what is the uh, uh, thing so we have all sides equal okay naturally all angles should be equal which is equal to 60 degree we love one plan take away we also talk about exterior angle this is the you know interior angle right we also talk about exterior angle just imagine you see uh, the base i extend it further okay and it forms this triangle forms an angle outside with respect to AE, right this is also some many a time subject of our interest and it is 180 degree here in this case because 60 plus 120 should be equal to 180 right so it's always 120 degrees always fixed for equilateral triangle okay next one more of one of the you know important you know there's a geometric measure i can say that okay uh, for equilateral triangle right perimeter what is perimeter we already discussed right it is sum of total length of all the sides okay it means if a b c are the sides length of the sides we can say perimeter is a plus b plus c <coughs> A plus B plus C. Uh, if for equilateral triangle, all sides are equal, right? A, A, A. So naturally, A plus A plus A is equal to 3A. So perimeter is equal to 3A. Just multiply with 3 times A, side of A. Okay. Uh, side of a triangle multiply. Where? Uh, we know that, right? So it's P the parameter and A is the side length. Okay. So here, what all sides are equal, perimeter is simply 3 times the length. So okay okay i could have got it this image a little bit earlier that's okay you already know it all right let's go for other geometric measure uh, uh, with respect to the equilateral triangle right let's see what is this height so it just imagine an uh, equilateral triangle look at it a side is a side is a and this of course a, this whole thing is side is a okay and uh, it's only that much is given let's assume for a moment what is this per, you know height height is a perpendicular distance from this point if i draw a perpendicular line from here you know from vertex 
to the opposite line see a is a vertex for example and this b and c is a b c is a no, opposite line right so if i draw a perpendicular line from the vertex to the opposite line and that length of that perpendicular we call this the height we can also call it as sometimes altitude length okay perpendicular length distance from any vertex to the opposite side we know that right similarly also we can do this way, this way whereas this should be 90 degree okay similarly we can also do this way remember this has to be 90 degree and what is this length of each is a height <coughs> So altitude, generally we call it as altitude. We can also find uh, calculate uh, treat in this picture. You can treat this as a height. Okay, so we can uh, it can be visualized as an altitude bisecting the altitude bisecting the base. So remember, it's all basic. This is a property of isosceles as well as equilateral triangle. So this what it does is this it bisects you know this into this. It means this is a by two and this is also a by two. Both are a by two. It bisects the base. Okay, that's how you call it. Now we look at it. It's, since it is perpendicular line, it is ninety degree. By the by the property of equilateral line, it is sixty degree. Okay, and this is ninety degree. Naturally, remaining has to be thirty degree. That's all. So it means it's also angular bisector. Remember, this whole thing sixty is got divided into three angular bisector. Also, we can call it as. Okay. Uh, then how to find the area? How to find the area question right so let's uh, i'm sorry how to find the height now so we know we talked about definition right let's understand how to find the uh, uh, height right so now this is a right angle triangle uh, this one a c and let me call it as b d okay this is b so the a d c right this is d d c let me call this this is a right angle triangle now what is pythagoras theorem talks about Pythagoras theorem talks about the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides, right? It means a square should be equal to h square plus a by 2 whole square. Let's see what happens. Yeah, super it. a square hypotenuse square is equal to h square. Okay, a square a by 2 x square plus a by 2 square. Let's solve it because we are interested in the h. We'll take it, we'll take, we'll separate it out. Okay. So now what is that? So in place, h is equal, h square is equal to a square, h square is equal to a square minus this square, right? a by 2 whole square. Now just simplify further, make it 4, 4 a square by 4 minus a square by 4. It means that's equal to you know, 4 a square minus a square all divided by 4 it means 3 a square by 4 so it means 3 a square by 4 now we are interested in height not the height square right so is square of it h is equal to okay h is equal to of of okay it of root 3 a root of into root 3 into a, a is outside the uh, square root remember okay this is the height of it we found the height one of the geometric pressure now let's think of measuring the area now right Okay, we know that, right? Where h is height of the triangle, a is the length, side length, right? Now, coming to the equilateral triangle. What is equilateral triangle? Okay, uh, what is the next one? Area, right? We let's think of area. We already found out the a, a, uh, height. Okay, what is this area? Area area is a measure of surface or space enclosed within its three sides. Of course, you know, triangle is a closed shape. How much surface or how much space is enclosed within this closed triangle right that is we call it as area so expressed in generally we talk about in square meter or meter square centimeter square or square centimeter okay unit square or square units like that right this is a unit remember the area let's take an example very similar to what uh, we took in just now uh, uh, equilateral triangle a a of course this whole thing is a it's an equilateral triangle what do we need to do again do you repeat the same thing okay uh, to calculate the area, let's see the formula first. To calculate the area, what is the area of the triangle? We know half into base into height. Okay, where A is a side and H is a this one. Okay, perpendicular uh, distance of this vertex from the opposite line, right? But see, look at it. A is given. B, you know, uh, base is given. Since we are drawing uh, uh, the perpendicular line, it bisects it, right? It bisects it. So naturally we got b and we need to find out the a that's all how do you find out the a 
let's we already did it just just now right Up, applying pythagoras theorem what is this a square is equal to a square is equal to h square plus a by 2 whole square we already calculated this form right h is equal to half root 3a just now we did it right so next now we know now substitute it here in the formula that's all as simple as that to calculate the area now substitute the value of h in the area equation right okay the area of equally half into base into height that's equal to half into a is what base entire thing is a base okay into height what is height this half root 3a half root 3a solving it what we'll get we get 1 by 4 of half becomes 1 by 4 right 1 by 4 root 3a square this is the area if see these are the questions kind of the questions keep repeated in the rtd exams right better you buy it rather than keep deriving every time right so what is the area 1 by 4 root 3a square simple as that what is the height h is equal to half root 3 into a okay now we understood uh, <coughs> We, we measured a uh, height, area, perimeter, you know, the, the, uh, and similar you know, geometric measures of isosceles, you know, equilateral triangle, right? Let's do this, repeat the same word for isosceles triangle also. All right, perimeter, we know what is perimeter, right? So it's all sum of all the lengths, right? Now take an isosceles triangle. This is A, this is A, you know, two sides are equal, remember, right? This is equal to this is equal. Whereas this is a different, you know, we, we are taking it as B, right? So now what is the perimeter is equal to a plus a plus b it means 2a plus b so a is equal to 2a plus b and here is p is parameter a is equal length of equal sides b is you know that all the stuff right example let's calculate a, you know example for example you have a base of 8 centimeter this is and you have a 5 this one right what is the length 2 into 5 10 centimeter plus 8 centimeter is equal to 80 centimeter. That's the perimeter of it. <coughs> Let's do uh, other things like you know height and uh, you know area. Uh, now, uh, because this we um, this, because these are the things which we are going to use again and again, right? What is height now? Height is same. How do you measure the height now? See, a is given, a is given, b is given. Height is not given. I need to calculate the height. What do you need to do? Calculate the height. You first draw a perpendicular. We did already, right? We draw a perpendicular from a to like this okay now we got height okay so what is perpendicular does right it it, it bisects the of course it's a perpendicular i'm drawing 90 degree if i draw a perpendicular because this is equal to this side is equal to this side this perpendicular line bisects the base it means this is equal to this it means this is also b by 2 and this is b by 2 correct so now we you know, what it does since AB is equal to BC, the perpendicular line AD bisects the base. Now bisects the base, you understood, right? This is equal to this length. Right. So now to calculate the height, what we need to do? We know we know we got a right angle triangles, right? Two, two right angle triangles, we got it right now. We got this is the one right angle triangle, this is one right angle triangle. Let's take any one of them, both should be you know equal. Now apply Pythagoras theorem. Apply Pythagoras theorem. What Pythagoras theorem says? A square is equal to h square plus this b by 2 square. Half, right? This square. See why we are applying only if it is 90 degree, then only I can apply Pythagoras theorem. Remember. Okay, or right angle triangle only. Now solve it because we are interested in h. h square is equal to a square minus b by 2 whole square. B, b square by 4 also you can write. Now what is h? h is square root of a square minus b square by 4. Buy it, it as simple as that. So you should be able to derive it. These actual complete the exams, you should buy at them and you know use them directly to solve up, um, uh, some of the calculations. Okay. Now we understood what is the height. Let's calculate the area. A simple right half into base into height. What is the area? What is the area? Half into base into height. Remember, this is an important stuff I wanted to highlight. See, base is given, right? Height is not given. But we found a mechanism to find the height. How we make a, what is the mechanism? I, we draw a perpendicular, it, it becomes an 80 degree, and it, this is equal to this. So bisection was helpful. Okay. Then using Pythagoras theorem, I calculated height because this is this edge was known, this edge was known. 
right so here also it's possible right now what is uh, what is area area is equal to half into base into square root of this one you substitute here half into base into square root of a square minus right okay half into base into uh, square root of a square minus this one okay a square minus b square by 4 this is the equation okay let's get to the next level now so now uh, we understood the essential lessons right let's see what's the remaining a few things uh few more things see i was deriving you know the height you know area perimeter and etc 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 because we often use them you know we repeatedly use them you know they are very much required there are also important geometric measures you know which i am not covering them uh, as part of this session because it will deviate in this session this you know class will become too much right so maybe we can cover them in some other session uh, but um, just placing some of the formulas here for example height we saw height is we know that right a square minus b square square root of a square minus okay uh, a square minus so, right b square by 4 you see this is from the pythagoras theorem applied right median we already discussed right in the previous session what is medium right median is equal to okay you take a point for example b okay and take a midpoint here somewhere major ac and take a midpoint join them so this length of this you know is a to say d okay uh, say e a a e b e sorry b e is a length median what is the formula here 2 a square square root of 2 a square plus b square by 2 you can also derive it okay but i'm not focusing here in this session at the same time in radius i already told you in radius is we can draw a circle inside it touching all the edges it means each edge is a tangent to the circle okay just imagine touching it touching it touching it and radius of the circle right this can be what is the value of it is our radius is equal to square root of a square minus b square <coughs> divided by 4 so now circumradius you can also draw one circle outside it outside it remember it's all going through the a so what is all circle should pass through the what is this right and this circle has some uh, radius that we, that we call it as circumradius, which is given by b divided by root 2 root okay so i'm not deriving it but these are important uh, could be asked in some of your examples okay let's get into the uh, area of line triangle this is this is this is i wanted you people to take these are all the introduction to the you know uh herons you know formula okay so let's now we understood scaling you know sorry we understood the equilateral triangle we understood uh, isosceles triangle let's understand uh, let's measure some of the parameters geometric measures of scaling triangle we already know what is uh, scaling triangle right scaling triangle is none of the edges are equal just keep them in none of the edges none of the sides are equal in length okay okay uh, <clears throat> let's summarize what is we did it in the past right the area of triangle is uh, when it is given we know the formula right what is the area of the triangle we need to say it is given half into base into height clear now if height is not provided assume for a moment okay if this is a triangle and only edges are given okay only edges are given then if height is not provided only lengths of the sides are provided assume for a moment okay as you like this a a and of course b a is given this side length is given this length is here this length is given okay so for equilateral and isosceles triangle we can calculate the we can we can draw a perpendicular line like this and we can create a you know a right angle triangle here and find the height using you know pythagoras theorem so we can use pythagoras theorem to calculate the height it's very well defined now we know a short sharp method to calculate the area of the equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle which we did it in a few, few you know a few seconds before right few minutes before right now this is a good case uh, uh this is very much possible for equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle how about uh, how about scaling triangle can we do this can we apply this formula here can we that's a question now right how do you calculate the height if this is not given uh, just me try it okay just imagine for a moment uh imagine for a moment right so imagine for a moment this is a different and this is a different and this is a different right so the all three are different if i draw a perpendicular lines h 
the base right it's a perpendicular line but since this side is not equal to this side we this perpendicular line will not will not bisect the base it means this portion is different than this portion and now we don't know of course we don't know height at the same time we don't know other edge also right and there is no way i can calculate the height because to calculate the height i need to know both of these edges right so it means what i'm trying to say is it means it's i simply cannot measure the height so easily and since i don't know the height i cannot use this formula to calculate the area of this scaline triangle then what is the solution okay that's where you know okay what is the solution that's where heran is going to help us <clears throat> what is who is heran let's understand let's understand okay okay uh, before getting into who is heran and who is hero uh, let's understand what is that heran gives you a formula gives us a formula for area of its scaline triangle okay of course we can use the same formula for all kinds of triangles but this is particularly useful especially for particularly useful for scaline triangles right what is let's take a sorry, scaline triangle for example if a side a is a b c are different they are not equal so the formula is given by of course heron okay is also called as hero's formula or eros formula so who is you know heros okay hero of is generally is referred to as hero of alexandria so he is a greek mathematician but he was living in you know the egypt then egypt you know alexandria of egypt um he was uh, i mean he is referred to by era of alexandria heron of alexandria and he lived in uh, 60 ad almost 2000 years now back right uh, in alexandria now what is this formula right he, what the formula is given by is what he gives is is equal to area is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so i'll repeat Area is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b s minus c. c. So simple formula, right? Let's understand what are these s and a, b, c. Okay, where s, a, b, c are the sides of the triangle. For example, side of the triangle, length of the sides. Remember, length of the sides. Okay, sides of the triangle. But what is this? You know, uh, yes, yes, this first answer semi perimeter. We know in the in the Uh, geometric measures we studied what is perimeter right remember the perimeter is equal to a plus b plus c it's sum total of all the lengths right what we are talking is semi perimeter it means half of the perimeter half of the perimeter of the triangle so s is equal to simple s is equal to what perimeter by 2 that's all right or we can also write it as a plus b plus c by 2 so it means p a plus b plus c is a perimeter and all divided by 2 okay that's a Uh, semi perimeter right okay let now let's do some problems uh, maybe in the next session not now okay